Hello Torians, welcome to your April 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tarot page. Um, please like, subscribe and share widely. Really, really important because it allows me to grow the channel, which is what we want. Um, and if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we will do here um, is we will look into different areas, if that makes sense, um, for the sign of Taurus in the month of April 2022. And we will that, that's how it works. So we will look at the overall energy for the month of April as it presents itself to you, to your sign. Before we then go into your emotional core, let's see what can go, What let's see what comes in. Um, and then we look at opportunities. And opportunities for the most part are what sustains you financially. Right? <clears throat> anyway, let's whew, jump right in here. Um, Taurians. Let's see what we got for the sign of Taurus as the overall energy for the month of April. Now, in April, we're moving into your sign at the on, on the 20th um, of April. We are entering into um, Taurus from Aries, which means as the month progresses, your energy is getting stronger, right? And strength is <clears throat> what you do need a little bit in April because you have the horse and the tiger. Now the horse is the horse here. Let's show you this. The horse and the tiger. So what the guides are saying to you is remember that you have an awful lot of strengths, right? You are by default a strong sign and you are strong, but it is important in April for, for your sign to, hmm, to rather focus on the wisdom within than trying to please people and also trying to follow people because part of the horse's message is that the horse is saying, you know, every now and then I need to run free. I need to step away from things, which is also the energy that we're having here for you with regards to your months of April. Right? And because we're moving into your sign, any changes that need to happen probably will or should happen, if that makes sense, towards the end of April, when you are in your full strength, if that makes sense. right? In the beginning, so for the majority of, of, of April, whatever comes your way will be and feel a bit more difficult to actually get through, if that makes sense. right? But you have the horse, which means you're quite strong, you're quite powerful, there's nothing to worry about. The only thing you have to worry about sometimes here is sort of your uh, your, your attitude to things. You know, when, when things are not good, it is so easy to stay in that feeling of, oh, it's all crap, nothing's going to work, right? <clears throat> if that makes sense. And... Sometimes even good moments um, or good news are not enough to shift that energy, if that makes sense. And frustration is a really, really bad teacher. So right, if you're going through stuff, um, you know, just understand that life cannot be shit all the time, right? And you're just going through things. And as always, you will get through them, if that makes sense, right? Um, because you have the tiger as the next animal, uh, for your overall energy for the month of April 2022 for the sign of Taurus. And the tiger is saying, I have stamina, right? <clears throat> and if I lift where the lion lives, the lion would not be the king of the jungle. <laughs> In other words, this is about understanding that no matter what life throws at you, the universe will never throw more at you than you can actually handle. And while it is true, Torians, that you are a burden sign <clears throat> in as much as people don't know how to not overstep your boundaries because you're not always good and at, at, at having boundaries. And since you are um, associated with the bull, which is the animal that says my territory is safe, right? Um, it is a proactive thing for Torians to make sure 
that the people you spend time with or the people you allow to be in your life understand that there have to be limits to how much energy you can give them, actually, right? So, overall energy, cut a long story short, what they're saying is, right, this month doesn't feel super high energetically, um, and um, choose your battles, make sure you're not responding to stuff that you have no control over, right? Really, really important, shit happens, um, but it will not last, okay? So, nothing, nothing bad lasts um, forever, and that's another thing you just need to need to realize, right? And then the tiger is saying to you, you know, you have a lot of stamina, and um, so, you know, focus on the strengths that you actually have, and you will get through anything and everything, okay? That was the overall energy. Now we're going into your emotional core. Let's just see what we got for Taurians for the sign of April, for the month of April 2022. Now, you have the wolf and the polar bear. This has to do with your emotions. And the wolf is saying, while you may feel emotionally drained, right, the only option you have is to run your pack, right? Don't give in to, and the guys already mentioned this sort of in your um, over energy, don't give in to attitude, seems to be a big word here for you this month's Torians. <clears throat> Make sure you run your pack. Make sure you understand, you know what? What I'm having is still worth protecting and I will protect it, right? And I will lead my pack and I will guide my pack. And even if there's a pack of one, you will, once you are, just have a look at stuff that is going on, you will find a way to get through it easier than when you worry, right? And the reason why we are mentioning worries is because you have the polar bear. The polar bear, and we're now looking at your emotions, is all about healing, right? Emotional healing. Now, of all the bears out there, the polar bear is the most vulnerable because he lives in the Arctic, where there's very few opportunities. Um, and then with climate change, um, they're losing a lot of habitat. And so the, the analogy here is for you to realize that e emotionally, in the month of April, you may feel a little lost and you may feel I have been hit quite a bit. And there is a, a, an old saying in, in boxing, price boxing, that is sort of really from the 1910s, 2020s, when someone says you have been hit, the getting up is up to you. Which is a bit of a problem with Taurians because you're such a strong sign. And sometimes even when you feel totally crap, uh, unless people know you well, they never know. They will never know how you truly feel. So because you're portraying this strength, not everybody will understand that there is a really soft side to you, right? And the polar bear is saying, allow yourself to be vulnerable, but also learn to remove yourself. Not everything that is happening, even in your pack, needs to be looked at straight away or sorted by just you, okay? So... That was your emotional core, and now we're going into opportunities in the month of April 2022 for the sign of Taurus. And you have the beaver and the buffalo. <clears throat> Here we go. You have the beaver and the buffalo. What the guides are saying to you with regards to opportunities, they might not necessarily come to you so, so easily, if that makes sense. Um, and because you have the beaver, which is the depiction is that you are the builder of bridges. If you want to make changes to your work life, um, be proactive. Really, really important to be proactive. What I'm getting is, even though that's not um, the depiction of the beaver, is to sell yourself well, right? Just, you know, the beaver builds the bridges, he builds the dam, if that makes sense, right? And he's bloody awesome at it. But he's not highlighting it much because he knows. Right? So what they're saying to you is even though you know you have skills, you're not always mentioning them. right? But if you want to move forward, and um, it's just the way I'm getting this, guys, sell yourself, show your strengths, show your skills, you have to be more proactive about it because the outgoing energy is the buffalo, which also means that in order for you to have more opportunities with regards to your work future, your future, whatever it is you do, even if you're self-employed, it's really important to understand that too many people, and, and this is again, we talked about this already in a roundabout way, 
as too many people at times interfering with your energy. And if you want to progress, if you want to really go places with regards to whatever it is that, that supports you and sustains you financially, you have to put your emphasis there. And people that are sort of invading your space almost, right? And when you assess them and you feel like, you know what? <sighs> They're not really that hurt. They're not really that much in need of my constant attention, right? So then, you know, tell them. Tell them, right? Right now I'm looking into my future because when it comes to your pack that the guides mentioned, you know, your wolf pack, you know, if you have... Uh, an income that fulfills you and, and something that sustains you right, everybody in the entire pack will benefit, right? So don't make it about other people, which is unfortunately very Aries, right? It's very, very Aries to look after anybody else <laughs> than yourself. Really, really important not necessarily to go there, if that makes sense, right? Okay, so that's all we got for you guys here for the month of April 2022. My name is Thomas Janak. This is my Thomas Janak uh, Taro, or Thomas Taro page page. Thomas Taro, Thomas's Taro page channel. <laughs> and if you like my work, please like, subscribe and share. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.